All right, dental students, let's talk about the bread and butter of restorative dentistry cavity preparation. This is where a tooth gets its makeover, transforming from damage to functional, and I'm here to spill the secrets to perfect fillings. Ready? Let's dive in. First up, the of cavity prep. It's pretty straightforward. Remove all the decayed tooth structure, get rid of weak enamel, and shape the cavity so it can securely hold the filling. Oh, and don't forget, it's all about preserving as much healthy tooth as possible while keeping that restoration resistant to chewing forces. Now, let's get into the, and we're following GV Black's classification here. Step one, the, think of this as the blueprint. You're defining the cavity shape at the tooth surface. Remove all decayed enamel and dentin, include any weak pits or fissures, and make sure your instruments and materials can easily do their job. Step two, this is where you make the cavity strong enough to resist fractures. Flatten the floor, remove any weak structures, and keep the walls perpendicular to the forces of chewing. Oh, and don't skimp on the depth, it matters. Next is, this step keeps the filling locked in place. For amalgam, undercuts in the walls work wonders. For composite, bonding agents do the trick. Sometimes dovetail extensions might be the hero you need. Step 4. Here's where you make your life easier. Shape the cavity for better access and visibility. Trust me, you'll thank yourself later when you're removing all the decay and filling it up. Then comes the, be extra gentle here, especially if you're near the pulp. The goal is to avoid exposure unless absolutely necessary. If you're close to the pulp, step 5 is, you can use a liner like calcium hydroxide or a base such as glass ionomer to insulate and support the restoration. Safety first, always. Finally, step six. Smooth out the cavity, clean it up and check all your margins. Once everything looks pristine, it's time to fill. Let's touch on the real quick. There's for materials like amalgam, think rigid geometric shapes, and then there's which is more conservative and perfect for adhesive materials like composite, and don't forget the class one through ZX, each with its own quirks depending on the tooth surface involved. Remember these classifications, you'll use them daily. Last but not least, your tools hand instruments like excavators, rotary instruments like high-speed drills, and spoon excavators for that soft dentin. These are your best friends in cavity prep. So, there you have it, the essentials of cavity prep. Master these steps and you're on your way to creating perfect fillings every time. Keep practicing, stay precise, and remember, the devil is in the details. Thanks for watching and happy prepping.